This is an acrylic and mixed media painting done by John Thomas Biggers in 1987 called The Starry Crown. In the middle, there are three African American women who seem to be sitting on a chair with their legs facing the center. The reason this is also a multimedia painting is because the thread that's attached to the women's fingers and their mouths is actually sewn into the canvas. Each one of the women are wearing different color African headpieces as they sit in the middle of the room. Each one of them has a quilt draped over their legs as they hold thread in their fingers. In contrast to the dark colors all around the painting, there are small white stars that surround all the women's heads. The light source is coming from the woman in the middle's lap because the fingertips of the women and the face of the women are all highlighted. The shadows are cast on the outside, which shows that the light source comes from the middle. A quilted design is used for the background as well as the floor underneath their feet. There are small black jars that surround the women in a circle. Below the woman on the right, there's a, uh, um, an object that looks somewhat like a bow. All the women are barefoot. Although the art piece is really dark, there are certain pieces that pop, such as the light in the middle. There are also a lot of designs on this piece that make it really interesting to look at. These women seem to be in what it looks like a sewing circle where they are all sewing the same quilt together. I feel like this picture is trying to show us the close-knit ties that the African culture has and how all the people play an important role in the culture. I think the quilted designs and the quilts on the women's lap are metaphors for the African culture. The African culture seems to be close-knit, just like a quilt. The string connecting to the mouth, to the fingertips of the other women, represent the stories and the traditions passed on from generation to generation in the African culture. This artwork shows us that people are all connected in some way. The artist shows this by connecting some string to each of the three women, connecting them as one. The reason that this painting is hanging up in the museum is not only that it's visually pleasing, but it shows certain aspects of African culture. Analyzing this video may help me see the connections that I have to certain people that I haven't seen before. It may also open my eyes to some aspects of my culture that I haven't been connected with and may help me connect with in the future. There isn't much information about this painting besides the fact that it has to do with the African culture. I wish that there was more information, maybe an article or two or more information in the museum that would help me understand this painting more.